The purpose of this video is to demonstrate how to use the local and global search features of Loft Manager Online using your desktop computer. So I'm currently logged into Loft Manager Online. I have the dashboard open here, and you're currently looking at the My Birds tab. And the first feature that I'd like to point out to use is Quick Search option here in the top left-hand corner. If you want to perform a quick search for a specific band number, all you have to do is just type in any portion of the band number in that field. So for, for example, I'll type in B-E-L-G. And as you can see, as I type the, the, um, the characters into that field, it filters the, your uh, data set to only birds that contain B-E-L-G in the band number. Right, so we're currently looking at uh, 978 birds which contain B-E-L-G in the band number. I can take this a step further and type in B-E-L-G-0-0 zero zero and filter the criteria even more. So I've got four birds now that contain B-E-L-G-0-0. Zero zero. Now whenever you have some uh, data in this field and you're filtering your data, it's important to note that when you go to uh, the pedigree or progeny tab and you click on the next bird button, right? That next bird button is simply going down your list of birds that you have on the My Birds table. So as you can see, the second bird is now selected. Going back to pedigree, I'll click on next again. And now the third bird is selected. I'll go back to pedigree and click on next again. And now you can see the next bird button is actually disabled. And the reason for that is because going back to the My Birds tab, there isn't a next bird. We're on the very last bird of the, of the list. So it's important to pay attention as to whether or not you've had, you, you're filtering your, your data here when you're in the progeny or pedigree um, tabs just because these buttons here are dynamic. And if you've forgotten that you've actually filtered your data, uh, you might be wondering why uh, the next or previous bird uh, buttons are disabled. Right, so I can go back up the tree here by clicking on the previous bird button and now you can see previous bird is disabled going back to my birds it's disabled because there isn't a previous bird if I clear the search results out by clicking on the clear search button and now go back to uh, let's just go back to pedigree or progeny you can see that the next bird and previous bird buttons are now enabled just something really quick that I wanted to point out to you because um, if you're playing around on the pedigree or progeny tab it's sometimes easy to forget if you're um, using a filtered subset of your, uh, your local da uh, birds database. Uh, the same holds true for search as well. So if I click on search, right, and I perform a search against my local birds database, it will actually only return birds that meet the search criteria. And so again, if you're on the pedigree or progeny tab and you're going to next bird, previous bird, it's only working with the search results that's, that um, that was returned by your previous search. So with that being said, and while I've got the search uh, form open on the screen here, I'd like to point out a new feature. Um, you now have the ability to search against the entire global database, if you like. Um, but first, let's go ahead and uh, demonstrate how the local search works. I'm just going to leave the only search my birds option selected. And for color, I'm just going to put in, um, let's just put in blue. Click on search. And as you can see, uh, we now have a filtered subset of the local birds database of 487 entries. So there are 487 entries in my local database which have the word blue for the color field. Okay, so some of them have blue bar, um, blue checker, you know, there's different variations, but I only performed a search to show me all birds that have the word blue for color and that's basically what I what I have here I can filter that further by typing in let's just say blue bar if I click on search type in blue bar now I'll get a more uh, refined search result okay so now you can see I've got only 237 entries which have the word blue bar and all of the other variations the blue checkered and so forth have been omitted from this search result. So going back to the search form again, um, there's a number of different criteria here. You can search by sex, strain, 
Um, you can type a keyword in for description, head comments, pretty much all the fields that uh, are made that are available to you when adding a bird are searchable. So you have the complete freedom of performing a search against any of that criteria. I'm going to clear this search result out and I would like to dive into the global search feature now. And I'm just going to do a real quick um, search. I'm going to leave all these fields blank just to uh, load some global data into the system. And as you can see, we have 626,915 entries in the global data database as of this video. And if you click on one of these band numbers, it will actually display the loft owner's contact information. So if you find a bird in the global search that you're interested in purchasing or maybe you want to make a trade, you can simply click on the band number and uh, reach out to the, uh, the owner by phone or email address and uh, negotiate a deal. Scrolling down a little bit further here, I do want to point out that um, birds that are actually flagged as being in the loft will actually be denoted as such with a little asterisk that says that this bird is currently in loft and there will be an asterisk next to the band number. So this particular bird that I just clicked on, uh, which is A21649-13, which is right here, is in loft in terms of the location. This is the location column. And so just comparing that again to some of the other birds, like if I click on the one above it, you'll notice that this one here um, doesn't have the asterisk. So if you're interested in um, only finding birds that are flag as being in the loft, you can actually just go back to the search field, bring up the uh, global search again, and for location, just type in in loft, click on search, and this will pretty much guarantee you that all of the birds are actually in the loft. So clicking on any of these, as you can see, they're all in the loft. So that basically concludes the um, tour of the local and global search features. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to shoot us an email. Thanks again. Have a great day.